Hello, this is Peter Newman. I'm a member on the ANSYS Learning Forum, and I've been playing around with the simulation of the waggle of a rod. And this is a long rod. It's very long. It's uh, 1,000 meters long, 0.1 meters in diameter. Uh, I didn't want to make it that long. I made it 100 meters long, uh, just for the convenience of fitting it on the display. Um, but I have that and uh, the motion that we want to see in this uh, video is shown in this video um, to pull up and suddenly stop and I haven't done exactly that but I have something very close to that and we're going to go look at that now and uh, I've done it both with explicit dynamics and uh, modal simulation and that looks like this in the uh, answer student there's a beam the beam uh, is made of steel and it has um, the, the dimensions shown on that uh, video I put a point mass on the end the point mass is 4,000 kilograms the entire uh, thing weighs 10,000 kilograms so the, the rod of steel 100 meter rod of steel is 6,000 kilograms on its own so uh, first we'll go look at and and it's got uh, one meter long so 100 elements along the length of the 100 meter long rod let's first look at the modal and uh, here is a modal um, what we learned is 8 hertz is the natural frequency and if we play it's held at this end and has the point mass at this end so the first mode is the end and I should turn on the um, results to, to get uh, to get it to move a little uh, we can maybe see it getting shorter and longer as the mass uh, moves uh, but there's a huge amount of mass in the middle and so if we look at uh, mode 2 that is moving where the mass of the wire is moving in different directions and um, by mode 3 um, there's really uh, the, the point mass isn't moving much at all and the, the wire is stretching and compressing uh, so those are the things we can learn about the modes and then by mode 6 there's uh, there's all kinds of uh, anti motions within the length of the rod but the important one is this first mode of 8 Hertz because that tells us how to excite the fixed end in order to start this end bouncing and that is 8 Hertz and so on the uh, explicit dynamics model uh, first we've got gravity gravity is pulling it down in the minus y direction pulling this mass down and I have a velocity and the velocity uh, I let gravity settle for 0.1 seconds and then I do a up down and up to uh, 20 meters per second velocity over one quarter of the 8 Hertz period and then down and then up so this total time is this 0.125 which is 8 Hertz so I'm exciting the top with the same frequency as the natural frequency that will bounce the, the bottom and so after solving that we can see um, an 8 Hertz cycle of this thing bouncing and uh, it's uh, not very interesting and that's because the mass is exactly on the center line of a perfectly straight rod and so uh, what is more interesting is if you move the mass uh, just slightly off the center of the rod and here is where the point mass is um, 
exactly on center and if I just move it off by uh, 0.1 like the diameter of the wire move that point mass just off and then I solve and here we see it solves actually fairly quickly and we can see the solution um, going to start in a minute it's only going to take 68 one minute I'll pause the video while that solves and it's just uh, finished running and it's going to send us some uh, cool pictures I'm going to put this at uh, true scale and we're going to play the video um, we want to play it with all of the 500 frames that were calculated so here's what it looks like um, now that it has some uh, room to waggle and I'll just let it uh, finish computing the frames and then let it play it'll play a little faster and we may also be able to rotate it to a more interesting view because I offset the mass in the X direction and we're looking edge on to the X axis so once it's finished computing the frames here we go now we can look at the waggle and that's the cool thing we wanted to see is uh, how this thing vibrates All right, hope you enjoyed that video. Bye.